All right, check this out, guys. This is a huge tailless whip scorpion. Just a crazy awesome little dude. Hey, crunchy. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful morning here in the rainforest. Last night it started storming and it hasn't stopped yet, but oh, this morning we are going to visit a uh, indigenous village called Commandancia. So right now I'm heading back to the Tambo and I'm gonna gather up all of my trade goods. Hooks of various sizes, jigs, leaders, batteries, candy, fig bars for the kids, fishing line, colorful t-shirts, things that you know we take for granted in the Western world just going down to Costco or Target or Walmart, but you know, things that are pretty hard to come by here, so especially the fishing gear. So Project Amazonas has put a lot of effort and money into this uh, little community. They've built a school a little further down. The river is a uh, uh, medical facility uh, to give medical and dental to the people of the river that have no access to it anywhere else. So all of my fee for coming on this trip goes to building schools and medical facilities and to protect uh, the rainforest and the people in it, so that was money well spent. So we're going into the school where we're gonna do a little trading. Okay. T-shirts and fig bars and some fishing hooks and jigs for this really cool piranha tooth necklace and a snake coconut. I think that's a good trade. Okay, bueno. All right, muchas gracias. So I got this really cool necklace for uh, a t-shirt and some batteries. That's a good trade. A little doll for two t-shirts, not a bad trade. Here's a nice little basket. Uh, por esto es, uh, tu quieres ropas? Eh, batería sí. Toma, ya. Yeah. Okay, muchas gracias. All right, so I got this really cool basket for a couple of AA batteries and some fig bars and some candy. That was a good trade. Dos por esto? Okay, gracias. So I just traded my last two t-shirts for this cool little dugout. That was a good trade. So I think I'm done trading. I've got some really cool mementos of this trip. And uh, I've got candy left, so I'm just gonna give it to the kids. Get it? To get it? Get it? All right, to get it? There you go. Hola! Una mano? Alright, this guy has a monkey here.
Bye bye. Adios. Gracias. All right, so I'm back at the Tambo and uh, got all my trade goods packed up, and that was such an amazing experience. And these things that they created were more valuable to me than I think that they realize, and the things that I had that I take for granted were more valuable to them than I think that I realize. So that was just an awesome experience and an awesome exchange of goods. And even though it's raining, I am going to uh, go get on my mud boots and take a walk through the rainforest. All right, so Matt and Mike are joining this little walk through the very wet rainforest here. What is it? Oh, the stingless bees, yeah. We saw something similar. Yeah. The fungus is among us. That's some funky fungus. Look at that, that's really fragile. It's well, falling it's, apart in my hand. I think it uses the least amount of material and energy to build a structure to allow it to grow up off the floor and release spores. So the lattice is just enough to support it long enough for the spores to release and then it just falls apart. Yeah. So you don't need to. Uh, spend a lot of time or a lot of energy uh, on, on a structure that's only needed for a few hours. Look at that walking tree right there. So there's a legend about these trees that they get up and they walk away in the dry season to more suitable soil. But really what it's doing is real estate in the rainforest, a very dense rainforest like this is a hot commodity and it's actually branching its root system out all about 12 feet up and it's basically bullying all the plants out of the area so that it can take more advantage of the of the soil and the real estate here in the rainforest. That's that is one bully of a tree. It's also similar to the lattice fungus because what it's doing here is it's it's utilizing less resources to hold up a fairly hefty tree by using many smaller branches. Right? So the rainforest soil typically is nutrient poor. Uh, and so it takes a lot of energy to build a big trunk like this, but this is just as good for a tree that's never going to get terribly tall anyway. It also has these spikes on it. There are a lot of plants and trees here in the rainforest that have these spikes. And if you rub up against these at night, you'll rip your shirt right off of you. Check out the spikes on this tree. Look at that. Can you imagine that thing going into your finger? Take a look at this huge buttress tree. Look at this, this is just one branch of its root system, and that's how big it is. This size is probably 200, 250 years old. So that means that this tree could have germinated before the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Guys, check this out. This is a trail of leaf cutter ants. So check this out. They go all the way here, all the way across the trail here, all the way up the tree. Look at that. They are harvesting the leaves out of this tree. All right, guys, look at this. So this is all spider webs. I'm catching my camera in it. But there's Matt, and that gives you a idea of the scale of this thing. Now, Hollywood would tell you that that was made by some immensely giant spider. But actually, this is a communal web. So this web was made by these tiny little spiders. 
It wasn't made by some huge, incredibly giant, man-eating spider like you'd think. It was made by all these tiny little spiders here. So they caught this huge beetle in it. Look at all the spiders kind of feasting on it. I kind of want to reach my hand in there and ID this beetle, but I'm gonna let them eat their dinner in peace. Check this out guys. This is a huge tailless whip scorpion. Look at that gnarly dude. They have these huge mandible pinchers up front. These huge jaws. How cool is that? Just a gnarly looking dude. So you gotta be thinking, if this is a whip scorpion, why am I handling it? These guys are completely harmless. He's just sitting on my hand just looking big and gnarly and spooky and just a crazy awesome little dude. Hey, crunchy. I've got an interesting texture to him. Hmm. These things aren't bad. Hmm. All right, guys, so that walk was just as amazing as you'd think that it was. I absolutely love the look and the feel of a rainforest but even though it's raining and it's a little bit cooler now it still is blazingly hot and there's a it's a really weird kind of heat because even two countries to the north of here in costa rica it wasn't this hot so i'm constantly sweating constantly stinky and i haven't i think i've taken one shower since i've been here but it really doesn't matter because you can't really get 100% clean and I'll show you why. So this is the showers here. It's a spigot coming out of the wall, a little mirror, and a place for your shampoo. And that's it. So the thing about this shower is that that water that comes out of that spigot right there comes out of a pump directly out of the river and it's not filtered. So it's just pure river water coming out of that shower. So you really don't get like 100% clean up here, but Frankly, who wants to? We're in the middle of the jungle and we're out adventuring and tomorrow we are going to the other biological reserve, Santa Cruz, which is on the Mazan River. So we've got a very long uh, boat ride ahead of us tomorrow as well. So anyway, uh, tomorrow's gonna be a very exciting day going down the uh, Amazon and then we have to go across land to the town of Mazan and then get on the Mazan River to go to Santa Cruz Biological Research Center tomorrow. And then we'll finish out our time in the rainforest at that biological research center. So we're done here uh, tomorrow. Today is our last full day here. So anyway, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Love the planet. Keep your life in balance and rattle on.